Hey guys, this is Undying Art bringing you another figure review. This time we have the Mezco P exclusive Hellboy, or the Mezco Hellboy Anun and Rama uh, figure. <laughs> That's a bit of a mouthful. So, first, firstly, we'll take a look at the box. Well, I shouldn't say box because it's a tin. This is very cool. Um, I didn't think it was going to be a tin, so it's cool to have it. And then on the back, just have a simple. Back of the package shot, that's a tin. No idea where I'm going to put this because it's massive, but we'll cross that bridge when I come to it. So now we'll take a look at Hellboy. So the sculpt on him is brilliant. It's probably my favourite Mezco that I own, and it will be the last Mezco that I own. All the veins and stuff, it's really cool, and the uh, Fist of Doom. That's also very cool. All the textures in the belt and the little um, crucifix pendant thing, I forgot what it's called. The pants feel um, very thin. Can't remember if they're like that in the movie. And then the boots have got some wear and tear to them. Bit of mud. Oh, that's a bit too bright, sorry. Bit of mud to them. Then the little bracelet that he has, very cool. He's got a bendy tail. It's not very flexible, but it can get some good poses. And that's what his shirt looks like on the back. And then the head sculpt. I think it looks a lot like the David Harbour version. I'm very happy with it. And if you wanted to, before I get onto ac accessories, you could take off the horns from the other head. And I believe you can place them on. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You could have him like looking calm with the horns, which I think is pretty cool. So I haven't took him out before, so I can't remember how to get him back in. There you go. So now we'll take a quick look at his accessories. He comes with uh, these horns, which are the flat horns. Then he comes with the extended full horns. Nice sculpt to them and nice colour to them. He comes with a gripping hand for the left hand. Nice paint and sculpt on the nails and the veins. Then he comes with a gripping hand. And then he comes with a trigger finger hand for holding his revolver. And then for the right hand side, he comes with a pair of a pair, a fisted hand, a gripping hand for the sword, and then a just relaxed hand. Nice sculpt to them, nice rocky texture. Quite like him. And then, as he is the P exclusive, he comes with an extra head, which looks like this, which you can also put the horns in, which I'll do now. There's one horn, and there's the other horn, and then at the back, you flip this, you flick this piece out of the back of the hair. Hole in the back, and then you place the fiery crown, and then he's got the cool looking crown. I might as well put that head on him now. <clears throat> and there he is, looking like the king of hell. Looks very cool. And then we'll take off his other hand so we can give him the other accessory, which is the sword, Excalibur I think it is. Nice sculpt to that. Um, it's quite flimsy though, so that's a bit annoying, but oh well. But I think it's very thin, so you can fit this flame accessory onto it. Um, 
just fit on like that. Now he's got a big flaming sword. So we'll put that in his hand. And see what he looks like with it. Oh, that's stiffer than I expected. Um, gotta rotate the hand. Oh, the crown's come off. It's all going wrong. Oh, and also the final accessory for the PX exclusive is the paranormal shirt. Their research and development. No, what's it called? Bureau for Paranormal Research and Development. Defense, not development. So, what I have found, which is very annoying, is that the irregular version, oh, before I get into that, he also comes with a coat as well. It's the same one as the normal one. So we'll get the normal one here. What I found with the normal version is that he actually comes with different accessories. So the stock version comes with a case with the new gun in it, but this version only comes with this gun. So that's one downside to having the only the PX. <clears throat> Stand up. So it doesn't come with this gun. This comes with the stock version, which is a little bit disappointing. We'll focus, there you go. And then that's the gun that comes with the PX1, which is in its holster currently. Oh, it's falling out. And the other thing that comes with this Hellboy that the PX doesn't come with is this angry looking head sculpt. So I just wanted to show that off. Now he's got like a more like grimace, and this guy's like angry at you. But the reason I've kept the stock one out of packaging is so I can show you what he looks like with the coat on. Nice tailor into the coat. And then also, to make things easier, because this shirt, this shirt is a pain to get off, I'll show you what it looks like without the jacket on. So here he is without the coat on. Nice sculpt to the back, nice scarring as well. Yeah, pretty cool. So, we're getting to a quick size comparison. So on to size comparison, here we have here we have Hellboy with a unmasked scar from NECA and a SH Figure Arts Star Wars, the Blacks, not Black Series, SH Figure Arts Mandalorian Beskar, and then the little child as well. And annoyingly, I've just took apart the little predator that I always display, so let's just see him with no arms. There he is. I don't really have any figures that will display with Hellboy, but um, I hope this just gives someone a general idea of what it'd look like. So on to final thoughts for this Hellboy. I really like him. Um, this is going to be my last Mezco figure. I'll be selling the stock version to a friend of mine, but I'm happy to have this version, even though he does come with less accessories. But the accessories he does come with are very cool, especially the crown, the horns and the fire. The shirt is a pain in the ass to get off and on, so if you want to have like swap it out quite a lot, just be warned that it's very annoying to get on and off. Um, so yeah, that's about it. If you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you didn't, hit the dislike, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoy my videos, please hit the subscribe button, it helps me out a lot. Um, I'm not aiming to get a certain amount of subscribers, I'm just here to have fun, and I hope you are too. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.